What's up YouTube? This is the man 7431 coming back with another video. And today this is going to be a quick little part 2 of me installing the 4.1.2 update to this phone. Now originally I told you guys that I was going to install 4.1.2 on here. And when I looked it up online, the only ROM that actually worked on this phone was 4.0.4. .4. So what I did is I went on ahead and installed it on this device and um, it worked flawlessly. And when I installed it um, and connected to Wi-Fi, it automatically told me that I had an update. So as you can see that is 4.0.4 and when I first got this phone it was on 4.1.2 if you guys want to know what happened just check out the last video I made and you know it'll pretty much tell you what all went down but uh anyway I'm on 4.0.4 I connected to Wi-Fi and an update is now available so this should give me 4.1.2 so I'm going to go ahead and install the update But yeah, guys, it was really, really crazy yesterday because I was online looking forever trying to find the original 4.1.2 ROM, and I didn't have any luck at all. So um, I ended up running into this 4.0.4, so I went on ahead and installed it, and um, I was thinking, well, it should have an update to where I can go to 4.1.2 so I went on ahead and set everything up and soon I clicked on Wi-Fi and put my password in it was just an automatic update that fast so I figured I was good so I decided I'll go ahead and do this video to show you guys that if you ever if your brick ever gets I said if your brick Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. If your phone ever gets bricked um, and you lose the original ROM um, as far as um, 4.1.2, like your stock ROM, and you want to go back, all you have to do is just download 4.0.4 .4 and then just connect to Wi-Fi and then go ahead and update and you should be good. Finalize, all right. Connect it now. Wow, there's another update. Okay. So I believe Okay, so I think the first update I got guys was matter of fact, let's just go see and see what it did real quick here. We're still on 4.0.4, so I don't know what happened there. Um, let's 
try it again, see what happens. You know, it's strange, it updated, it's like doing the whole update process, but I don't know if it takes quite a few updates to get to 4.1.2. I don't know what's going on, but we're just going to keep going with it until we get to 4.1.2. So I don't know if that first update was just like software fixes. I don't know, but we're just going to keep going. And we're still on 4.4.4, so I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, but it's still talking about a update, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to pause this because I'm at 8.05, so I'm going to get back with you guys once I get this straight now. So hold on, all right? All right, guys, I'm back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this update is a whole lot bigger now. See, it's like 39.7 megabytes. So this might be the 4.1.2. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, guys. other updates were pretty small I think it was like one point what was that 1.9 megabytes guys so I don't know but I'm just rolling with the punches kind of see what's kind of going on here um, I know that there were probably a whole lot more um, updates to a lot of these softwares um, like I mean I know there were a lot of bug fixes so that might have been what it was too and as you can see this is loading a little bit more slower so whatever this is it's got to be the update for 4.1.2 maybe it's going to go to 4.1.1 and then it'll send another update for 4.1.2 I don't know, but we're going to go in and check it out as soon as it gets done. 
But this is definitely a longer update. So we're going to check again and see what firmware we're on. And we're still on 4.0.4. So I don't know what's going on, guys. But this is the man 7431 signing out. Uh, once I get to the bottom of this, guys, I will make another video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.